So someone in politics has asked me to talk about my life in a way that's not okay for me. What I can tell you is that I have gone through misery because someone thought they'd call police on me when they really didn't have a lawful right to do it. What they ended up doing was creating a seven-person police officer scene at their home in which the police officers kicked through a door, broke a doorknob off, and literally abused me into a mental health facility called Eskenazi. At Eskenazi, I was required to stay only a day and allegedly be evaluated by some woman there, someone I did not choose. But while I was there, the officers did not like my questions of why I was there. They abused my rights, and they literally picked me up, turned me over with six men with a gentleman who was there with not a uniform on, and gave me a shot. That was a good offense to me, but that shows us what people in mental health facilities and people in the offices of law feel they have rights to do to people like me. If that ever happens to me again, I guarantee you God will obliterate every one of them. When people talk about God, they like to play games on us. When people talk about God, they like to lie about us. And yet there are preachers on television that are allowed to talk about God, yet human beings, regular people, are not allowed to find God at any time in their life. At the same time, when I was getting taken in there, they would not allow me to pee, and I was about to wet myself. At the same time, when I was there, my sibling lied about me to get me taken there. At this time, her lies have not caught up with her because she doesn't remember the shit she does, or she's programming herself not to remember the lies she's caused her. But while I was there, a law enforcement officer said to me, Are you a sovereign citizen? Which I found was offensive. They also called me the wrong things when I was there, and that too was offensive. You see, we have people in the law enforcement uh, facilities. Not at all. We have law enforcement now in hospitals. We don't need them there. If you have someone that is so immature that they cannot behave themselves, that's something on American society, not on them. In America, politicians have asked me to tell the story because they are very concerned with what is happening with law enforcement, to the point that we have defund the police campaigns. It is very likely that the police can be defunded, especially when they abuse the law and abuse people like me. It is also very possible that siblings could end up in jail for their lies to American police. You see, a liar will always continue to lie and manipulate until they are caught. And a liar thinks they are in charge of someone's health care. And a liar thinks they have the right to use their social work license to socially abuse someone in medical records that is not their lawful right or not their consensual right to do. A liar of America is an abuser. And a liar of America will lie with their brothers and sisters to produce a result in someone that they want as opposed to the truth of someone that the individual wants. A liar in America will lie, steal, and cheat people out of their rights. A liar of America will pretend that they have rights to someone that they have no rights to. A liar in America will abuse his company property in terms of a garbage truck or some sort of a lifting truck. A liar in America will use his truck to try to run over someone like me or run over geese. A liar in America is a liar, and we have marvelous liars in the force because they're always dealing with liars. But the truth of America is that we have rights. And as an American citizen, I don't have to be a sovereign citizen because I've been here since the Mayflower. But my siblings have no rights to my medical records. They have absolutely no rights to my legal documents. Police officers have no right to overturn decisions that a court has done long ago on my lawful name. And at this time, I'm done talking. I will share parts of my life to people who want to know me, but I will not tolerate the lie of people who think they have the right to pick things up that don't belong to them and take them off someone's life. When I look for my sunglasses, will I find them? But when I looked for my two cuffs that I just purchased from the Dollar Tree, two military cuffs, one that is blue, white, and black, the other is military camouflage green. Both of them are missing from my backpack. Why is that? Why is a homeless man's bags fodder for some derelict in the community to think he has the right to open and play in? Why is a man's pack something that someone thinks they have the right to participate in abusing? Why is someone's wallet something that people think they have the right to take things in and out of the trash and put them on them?
What we have in America is a predator. A predator is born in every family. And that predator is a liar and a gossip and a solicitor of information and openly someone who will pick up a card on a table and start to read it as if it is okay to do that. In the business world, we learn that you do not pick up anything on anyone's desk to look at it without permission or consent. In American offices, we learn in old school professionalism that you do not sit down in someone's office until they invite you to do so. Sometimes you have to pr pr press upon yourself on old men who don't remember the rules of America. We're so accustomed to the immature people just plopping themselves down in a chair that they don't know what to say. The liars of America are always on their way in and out of people's homes. The liars of America always take their maintenance keys and go in and produce themselves the opportunity to piss all over someone's life like me. When I was living in an apartment complex that had both impoverished housing, HUD housing, and regular housing, I was constantly finding my property moved around on my bathroom sink. I was constantly finding property of mine like rock collections missing from my things. I was constantly finding my precious things from Japan taken, and I constantly was finding photographs of my family and my origin gone. I was constantly finding that my business work, my kanji camp Japanese school work, was going missing and being shredded. And I'm fucking pissed off because it took months for a long time for three people, myself, my spouse, and our friend, to translate some documents so that I could produce a dictionary for me. And if that person thought, oh, this is duplicate, we don't need this, and threw it away, he took off the top shit that we were translating. That is an abuse of my rights, you see. Anytime someone entered my home without my lawful consent, using their key as an administrator of that apartment complex was an abuse of me. And any time someone else might have gotten someone in maintenance to open the door was an abuse of me. And any time someone opened a suitcase that had a lock on it to keep it closed and to keep it secure was an abuse of me. Any time an employer allowed their person to open a locker and get into bags that had documents that were legal to me was an abuse of me. And any time law enforcement officers decide to disparage an individual, run around a community, interfere with them, and put their hands in and out of someone's pockets, taking business cards that someone is working to associate with, is a total abuse of me, and completely an opportunity for them to abuse you. So while my life may not serve as a perfect example in this time of homelessness and impoverishment, I am still fighting for my rights in America. I am still interested in politics in America. I still have the right to become a political consultant. I still have the right to be a marketing director. I still have the right to take video. I still have the right to post online. And yet some little bastard, bastard gay boy in a staple shop thought he would give away information on my situation to a security company. So I got fucked out of my rights on Twitter today. And it's been gone. I've not been able to do my work for my company on those social media channels. BZ98097. You see, the bastards of America who are supervisors in companies and retail still like to steal from me. And those people get onto a monitor's network, not at all, but they seem like to lie about me. And what they will do will do these things. Well, they'll stand outside their company. They'll look at their cell phones. They'll try and look at things on me that they had no right to even pay attention to as an hourly employer or even a supervisor. I guarantee that's not in their job description. And if some division manager will put it there, they need to be fired. <laughs>